Do you need to get an iPad? Is it absolutely necessary? Can it replace your computer? Which one should you get? And which are the apps that you should have on your iPad? All of those questions I'm going to be answering in this video. So if you find it helpful, it would really help me if you can subscribe, like this video, and let's get right into the video. Story time, I never had an iPad when I was in school, only on the few last months, really. And that was because I never thought that it was necessary. No one ever told me to get an iPad. I only had my laptop, which I used for my school time. And I was just okay, you know? We were not sketching on iPad. None of that was a thing when I was in university. This was like 2019. And so an architect came to me and told me to get an iPad. And I was like, okay, first of all, why do you really want me to get an iPad? I'm good, thank you, I don't need that. But then I thought, okay, you know, why not? I'm just gonna give it a try. I got my iPad, but funny enough, I didn't really use it. I was just using my computer and the iPad was like sitting there for like a year. And really the reason that I never got my hands on the iPad is because for me it was very intimidating to use the sketching apps that I was told that everyone was using. So I was just like, I have no time for this. I'm just gonna go with the, you know, traditional way of sketching. But then I really thought that I was falling behind because my friends in school, they started to get iPads and then they were doing everything on iPads. And I was like, I wanna do that. And I already have an iPad, so why shouldn't I just learn? So I learned the tools and I will talk about the apps that you should be getting if you're thinking to get an iPad. But it took me a little while to just get the hang of it and get used to it really to you know sketch on a screen. And then I couldn't go back. It became my favorite thing. I do love my iPad. I use it for a bunch of things, not only for sketching. Now. The question that I get asked a lot is, should this replace this? Your iPad will never be able to replace your computer. If you are in this industry, if you're a student, you already know that we use a lot of the software, that it is very heavy and that needs a powerful computer to be able to run the software. So rendering programs like Enscape, modeling programs like SketchUp, AutoCAD, Rayon, some of the tools really need a computer and an iPad will basically not do the job for you. So can it replace it? Absolutely not. If you're thinking one or the other, get yourself a laptop because that's what you're gonna need to do interior design work, such as 3D models, renders, construction drawings, all of that. Why you should get an iPad? If you are thinking to get into sketching and you're probably intimidating of sketching, this will help you break that fear. If you wanna be more organized, if you wanna be having things on the go, so for example, I do my SketchUp work on my computer, but when I have to you know, just do little changes or do like a quick model, I will do it on my iPad. So an iPad is a tool that complements a laptop, never one or the other. And for me, it took me a while to buy this because the priority was the laptop. And when I was in school, I was broke. So I didn't have the money to you know, buy an iPad. But after I was able to buy it, I really fell in love with it. So if you cut yourself an iPad, which one you should get? If I'm being honest with you, as long as you get an iPad that can run the tools that I'm gonna tell you next, you will be fine. And one that you can use your Apple Pencil with. So you have the Pro, you have the Air, you have the big screen, the small screen, that doesn't really matter as much. A lot of people will tell you that for efficiency and the display will look different and the screen will be more crisp. Guys, honestly, as long as you get an iPad, that has the Apple Pencil and allows you to sketch, then you will be good to go. Now, which are the apps that you should absolutely get if you get an iPad? There are a few that I just cannot live without and really they are the only ones that I use in my iPad. So first off is Notion. Notion is a tool that you're probably already familiar with and it is used for efficiency, for productivity. My whole life, not only my career, my life, even when I was in school, my notes, everything was organized in Notion. So it's definitely a tool that helps me to stay organized. I have it in my iPad, I also have it in my phone, and of course that it links. So I have Notion for taking notes, for my calendar, for keeping track of everything that I have to do. I even do my grocery shopping list there. So yeah, uh, Notion is great for productivity, for keeping your things organized. Second tool and one of the most important for me is Morfolio Trace. So Morfolio Trace will allow you to do sketching on the iPad to make floor plans, elevations, sketches, doodles, 
details. There are so many things that you can do uh, inside of Morfolio Trace. And the important thing here is that you can actually bring your models to scale. So you can scale them up or down depending on the project that you are working with. If you have heard of Procreate, which is another app for sketching, that app does not have those features. So if you're thinking, oh, should I get Morfolio Trace or Procreate? 100% you should get Morfolio Trace because Morfolio Trace is created for interior designers and architects. Procreate is an app that is not only used by designers and architects. So definitely download Morfolio Trace and I do have a bunch of tutorials on my YouTube channel if you wanna know how to work with it. Third app that you should be getting is Morfolio Board. So the developers of Morfolio Trace are of course also the developers of Morfolio Board and it is an app also only for interior designers. You can create design boards, mood boards, furniture boards and all of the boards that you want to create. I also have a YouTube tutorial on how to use this tool. So the link is in the description below. Next app that you want to get is SketchUp. So SketchUp has a version for the iPad and it is pretty amazing. And I just want to say that if you are a student of my SketchUp course, I will now have very, very soon iPad lessons where you can actually learn how to use SketchUp on the iPad. If you're already a student, you don't have to pay for this. It is included, it will be free. If you are not student of my SketchUp course and you wanna learn how to master SketchUp for interior design and architecture, or if you already use SketchUp and you have the problem that your SketchUp model is too slow, you do not know how to use all of the tools, you have no idea how to have an efficient workflow, then my course will teach you exactly that. I teach students from all over the world how to use SketchUp correctly so that you can create amazing interior design work, amazing designs that you can add to your portfolio and get clients, get jobs, get success in the industry. So if you wanna learn SketchUp with me on desktop and on iPad, you can click the link in the description. All the details to my SketchUp course are in the description of this video. So going back to the tools, definitely get SketchUp on the iPad. It works amazing. It works very, very smooth. And you can use a lot of the tools that are also in your desktop. And just for the record, the desktop version is like the complete version of SketchUp. On the iPad, the tools are limited but still you can get a lot of things done if you have uh, the iPad version. And the last tool that I have to have in the iPad as a designer is Canva. Probably you already use Canva. I have to tell you, I used to use Canva on my laptop, but now that I have the iPad version, I rarely ever use it on my laptop. I use a lot of the mind maps or just to make PDFs, to update my portfolio. Now I am doing my portfolio on Canva because it is free. So I stopped using tools like InDesign or Photoshop. So of course I don't have to tell you Canva is amazing. So if you have it on your iPad, you will be so happy, I promise. So those are the tools that are absolutely must have. I actually forgot one tool. Pinterest, how could I forget Pinterest? But we already know Pinterest, of course that it is on my iPad as well. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Are you getting an iPad next or are you not?